the biggest hit that we ever had with Bare Naked Ladies one mm-hmm. week. Yeah. It was essentially written like that. I mean, it was, you know, Ed came to me with, with kind of this idea for a song. Mm-hmm. And what we used to do these improvised raps through all the shit, like during our shows. Right. You know, mm-hmm. Freestyle raps and usually comedic stuff. And I said, like, wouldn't it be great if the, if the verses were that? Mm-hmm. If you could just improvise them and have that spirit of what we do live rather than kind of constructing a verse that tells a story. Oh, wow. um, and he went, okay, I'll do that. And he went home and did this into his video in video camera and, and came back the next day and said, here's what I have. And it's like, that's great. There we go. But I just thought, oh, this wow. would be like kind of the, the quirky character song that would be not track number three on the album. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And then we worked up this arrangement of it that we realized, oh, this is much better than we thought it was. And the label went, oh, that's the single. And part of you is like, well, but we worked so much harder on these other things, <laughs> these uh, these art songs. But I, I remember once having this um, AOL chat, like we would do, what they, you know, the record company would set you up and you'd do this, like an AOL Q&A question, like an AMA right. type thing. Oh, man, I was probably yeah. on one of them. I'm not going to lie to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we asked, what's your favorite song of yours? Mm-hmm. And we're all choosing kind of like these, you know, album cut art songs. Um, that might have like the heaviest playing or the best lyrics or whatever it is. And Jim, the bass player, said, if I had a million dollars. And we were like, we were crying laughing. Like, if I had a million dollars, what the hell? That's so <laughs> stupid. It's like one of the first songs we ever wrote. We were 18 and it's the song that we kind of like wish we didn't have to play all the time. And then he said, no, no, no. It's the song that everybody knows. Like their grandmother knows it. And mm-hmm. in Canada, it's like a campfire song. Like, yeah. Those don't come along more than once or twice in a career, if that. Yeah. Right. He said, of course, it's my favorite. And we all kind of looked at each other and realized, like, he was absolutely right. Wow. It, we were kind of embarrassed because it was, you know, what you hear in If I Had a Million Dollars is what we sang, Ed and I sang to each other the first time we wrote it. And that was it. But it stuck. And it's like, it means something to other people. And you can't disrespect that because, like, it's just part of people's lives. And yeah. I'm pretty grateful for that.